Oh, lots of things. There's so many special birds in the basin. Hard to know where to start. Do you know there are over 350 different species of birds in Harney County that have been seen? That's amazing. That's well over one third of the total kinds of birds you could see in the entire continental United States. And all that diversity of birds, that's tied to the diversity of habitats here. There's marshes, there's lakes, there's streams, there's rivers, there's wet meadows, there's dry meadows, there's sagebrush, uh, playas, rim rock, the list goes on. For example, wet meadows. Right now, the first white-faced ibises are landing in a meadow somewhere uh, from their journey up from Mexico, where they spent a nice warm winter. And in a few weeks, there will be thousands of them painting this technicolor, shimmering, iridescent rainbow across the fields while they forage. Such a beautiful sight. What else? The sagebrush. The sagebrush right now, it's alive with sage thrashers singing their impossibly long, beautiful, quivering song. Somebody once recorded the sage thrasher singing continuously for 22 minutes. Whoa. So many other surprises in the sagebrush as well. I remember on a hiking tour at the Harney County Bird Festival a few years ago, rounding a corner just in time to see a pair of short-eared owls floating up out of the sagebrush on those big floppy owl wings, like a couple of gigantic big-eyed butterflies. My favorite bird, my favorite bird lives in Hardy County all year round. And right now, she's probably sitting on a gigantic nest of sticks uh, stuck way up on a ledge in the rim rock, the incredibly majestic golden eagle. Harney County, one of the most prolific nesting areas for golden eagles in the West. And if you're patient and you're lucky, you get to see these birds foraging over the valley. Mostly they're eating jackrabbits, sometimes they're eating yellow-bellied marmots, and it's exceptionally rare, but they have been documented actually being able to take down a full-size pronghorn. Super fierce and amazing bird. And let's not forget about the lakes. Uh, the lakes hold so many different birds, but grebes are remarkable. There's five species of grebes in the basin. There are horned grebes, eared grebes, pie-billed grebes, Clark's grebes, and western grebes. And watching western grebes in the spring offers one of the most incredible birding opportunities there is in the world. The uh, courtship synchronized water dance. Two grebes lifting off the water side by side, their wings almost touching, and then running literally across the surface of that water at about 20 paces per second. You try that. I love spring in Harney County. It's spring right now, which is of course a really great season to be out in nature, wherever you happen to be. In the basin, spring is a season of surprises not least in the weather category. You can have the experience of birding under blazing sun in driving wind, sleet, snow, perfectly balmy conditions, a gentle warm breeze. And that's all in one day. Seriously, spring is the season of diversity in the basin as birds that breed to the north make their migration through Harney County and birds that nest here start arriving for the season. You might have the experience in early spring of watching 10,000 Ross's geese lift off from the lake south of town, or greater and lesser sandhill cranes doing their amazingly awkward, graceful courtship dances. You can see some of the shorebirds that make Malheur a Western Hemispheric shorebird reserve from Arctic nesting leaf sandpipers to basin nesting species like Wilson's phalaropes. Songbirds, of course, arrive in the spring. Uh, the first ones to show up might be blackbirds, like yellow-headed blackbirds. And there's later arrivals, like skunkbirds, or bobolinks, as they're called. The last bird that arrives commonly is the incredibly acrobatic common nighthawk. And these birds show up suddenly en masse in late May and make for a great treasure hunt on fence rails and branches throughout the basin. And accompanying this diversity of sight is a chorus of song as birds of every variety vie for their mates and their territories. And 
all around this avian rainbow. The trees are leafing out. The desert primroses are starting to open their deliciously intoxicating flowers. Bats start emerging from their hibernacula. Spring in the basin, it's awesome. Turns out I love winter too. While it can be bitterly cold in the basin, winter skies are the clearest skies, making for the very best in stargazing in this important dark sky area, one of the best in the entire world. Stars, planets, meteors, they all appear brighter in winter, and your burning binoculars can unlock super exciting views of distant galaxies. Many of the birds in the basin left a while ago for warmer winter climates, but there's still plenty of special birds here too. You might see dozens of bald eagles in the trees as northern nesters come down for the relatively mild winter. Uh, large flocks of tundra swans can be found in the rare pockets of open water. Super handsome rough-legged hawks also winter here. And if you have never seen a flock of mountain bluebirds lifting off from a snowy field like cerulean butterflies, you owe yourself a visit to Harney County in January. That's a lot. And when I think about your question, all that being said, I also come up with a couple of very specific stories. One was the finding of a prairie warbler by a birder named Alan Contreras, an extremely rare bird indeed. And then the other has to do with the bobolink. The bobolink, a really cool species that when this bird sings, it sounds like there are many birds. Very extraordinary.